We're good. It's time to kick the tires and light the fires. The Bo Carver Show is on the air. The monkey crew is in place. And here's your head fire master, Big Wheels, Bo Carver. Yes. I like that. How about that, huh? We are here. Live, partially in color. <laughs> On the wheels of justice every Sunday from noon to whenever we decide to stop. stop. <laughs> so so I hear I hear uh that's Ron Taylor that does that voice, right? Ron Taylor, the great Ron Taylor, did those does our intros and we sure appreciate that. And that's a, a great opener for our Wheels of Justice show today. And thank you for joining us. We're here every Sunday at noon and you can join us on our uh, on Facebook live channel at facebook.com slash Bo Carver show. Uh, that's B O C A R V like in Victor E R show. Uh, also you can uh, though, tell friends and neighbors uh, uh, that are not Facebook junkies uh, that, to go to YouTube so they can go to youtube.com and then they can search Bo Carver show and we're live there as well. So we're just out there to have uh, a lot of ways for you to tune into us. And uh, I am your host, Big Wheels Bo, and uh, I'm a field researcher for the Judge Judy Court television show. And uh, that's kind of hence how the Wheels of Justice came about. And sitting in is all kind of always. The I'm not even listening to you talking me down today. Talking you down. I'm always here. His beautiful wife. Thank you. Aspiring co host. Oh, boy. Purple, <laughs> purple haze. I'm here. There I don't she have my is. glasses, though. I lost my glasses. Well, you're supposed to be prepared for the show, but obviously you're not. I have so. them, I swear. I don't know what I did. With well, them. I don't know. You're what checking time. your hair like you, because you put, put them in on there? the top of my head. That's weird. I nope. found them there before. Well, I don't <laughs> have you any just like think about it. Do I feel the pressure of glasses pushing against <laughs> my head? No, the headset on my head, Carver Jr. You guys are psychotic. Well, we just brought the family feud to the show today. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to comment on, on that intro. I love it, number one. Number two, uh, Father, do you remember when we used to watch NASCAR? And the guy would go, it's a great day for racing. Boogity, boogity, boogie, right? Like yeah. that thing. That's what I imagined him saying. Yeah, like, hell, I was expecting that, too. Yeah. I almost said it, didn't he? Yeah, it was, and and, and that, was, that was fantastic. I love the intro, uh, Ron Taylor. Thank you. And he joins us every Thursday at 8 p.m., on the new show called Rant or Rave. And that's on the same channels that you're watching here on the Bo Carver Show, uh, facebook.com slash Bo Carver Show, or also youtube.com Bo Carver Show. It's Rant or Rave, and that's on Thursdays at 8 p.m., and he's with us on Thursday evenings. I also uh, co-host today is the young man that... Uh, Name goes on and on and on. The, it seems to well, always name one of my appear. No, name one of my feats. What have I done? You, you, you sound like you were going to name my record. Now, why would go you ahead. want me to be pressured to do that? No, go ahead. Name, name something I've, I, I've, I've accomplished in life. Uh, you mow our lawn. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. <laughs> so I am Graham Carver because you I never said my name. Okay. You've accomplished a, a pretty high rate on a Counter-Strike. You're very good at that. You're you're very loving son. Ten thousand dollars later. You're very, yeah. Well, you you're just very, love that fact, don't you? Yes, I do, because well, it just shows how much money people throw at you if you're their kid. And we're not throwing it at you. Well, That's his mother. Man, I have thrown it that way for sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> but, I better we get off this subject before, but, 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 to, before I have the attorney general knocking on my right, door. <laughs> really quickly, um, I think I think it's important to mention that if you watch our show, if you've been watching our show since the very beginning, you know where we live, you know all of our full names, you know exactly what we do for a living, you know, you know what our day-to-day -day plans are. It's kind of weird how much you can figure out because he doesn't know how to hold back. Well, and that we're full of monkey business, which is what you see in front of us. Uh, and that's how the show got that way. Uh, the monkey business cruise, because when we first started on radio and doing these shows, we were at a station that said uh, uh, their uh, slogan was experts in business. Well, we didn't have any business and we didn't have any business being on the radio. Still don't. And so 
we just, I started saying, hey, we're just, uh, we're experts in monkey business. So people started sending us monkeys and then that's kind of how that grew. And we're still, we're still have no business. Being on the radio. <laughs> and we are the monkey business crew. So thanks for joining us. And I, w- what a great guest we have today. I am been really, really excited to have uh, him join us today on this Sunday show. Uh, he's from Dallas, Texas. And tremendous singer, songwriter, entertainer. His music is fantastic. Please make welcome Justin Kemp. Yay. I'd give you the clap if we had it. (laughs) Yeah, we have we have penicillin for that too. (laughs) I was gonna make a joke, but you can. It's Sunday though. Keep it clean. Yeah, well not yeah, you we just, you know, usually our Thursday show we have a warning sign behind us. So today we a little bit more on the even keel, but hey, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. And uh, when we got connected and and we started talking, and then I started to uh, uh, go to your sites and listen to your music. Man, I was so impressed with your stuff. First of all, tell them where they can go to listen to some of your music. You can go to www.justinkempsongs. Dot com. It's Justin Kemp songs, plural. And that's com. J-U-S-T-I-N K-E-M-P songs, Justin Kemp songs dot com, right? From yes, Dallas, sir. Texas. From Dallas, Texas. <laughs> that's right. And uh, so, and you have uh, some stuff on, on YouTube as well. If you go to Justin Kemp, uh, look for some of the songs and we're going to play some of those songs. But before we get into that, uh, I want to mention a couple of things. First of all, I want to talk about the upcoming Pride and Glory Professional Wrestling Organization's next event, which is going to be July the 27th. Ooh, ooh. And we are affiliated with that organization, and we love Ashton, uh, uh, Ashton uh, Jacobs. Ashton Jacobs, thank you. Yeah. And it Mark Rice. And there's going to be some female wrestlers from San Antonio there. And, of course, Malico the Magnificent's coming back. So, so, so I think, My favorite I, clown. I think you guys are like... <laughs> You're very good at making a point to get to how much you love the show, but a lot of people have this, this idea in their head that it's a lot of work to go out there, you it know, is. just to drive. No, no, I'm no, just he's to talking about watch. guests coming to the, yeah, just, to, the show, just to go the watch, Pride Glory watch wrestling. the Pride and Glory. Oh, wrestling. it's a blast! You, you walk in, you sit down, you wait around, it doesn't matter, you know, you could get there just five minutes before the show, and you walk in, and the show's immediately starting, or you can wait around and see everyone. Scramble to get ready. It's really interesting. They're actually doing a meet and greet an hour before on yeah, this so, one. So the best part is you sit down and it's just a lot of fun and it's all family orientated. There's nothing inappropriate. No you know, like, like you said, no foul gestures, nothing. It's all just for the fun of it. There's s- some great wrestlers out there who have a lot of experience on the field. Oh, and yes. it, it's a lot of fun. I mean, and Bo know. Carver and Purple Haze are there. And they are going to be, speaking of, uh, Big Wheels Bow and Purple Haze. This trip is going to be this July the 27th uh, show is going to be a duo MC. Purple Haze and Big Wheels Bow will be in the ring together. Oh, why? Because you have to protect him. He needs a bodyguard he, some, from the okay, wrestlers. Okay, he someone, was scared. Someone got in his face. Someone got in his face. Is this Bo time. we're talking about? Yes. This. My father is always scared. The wrestlers got in his face, and, his, and I wasn't there to protect him. If there was him. a wrestler, I'd be scared, too. No, no but I know, Bart. I looked up there. She's, like, showing her face. I wanted to come down the stairs. No, me. I was wrestling. Oh. <laughs> uh, that night, I was there, and I was up in the thing because I was managing that night. Yeah. Kate, Kate Fallon killed a Kate, and Bo was in the ring, and one of the wrestlers got in his face. I almost lost it. I almost went down those stairs to well, show that boy what I got. Yeah. Why, why were you in the ring? I wasn't scared. He's emceeing. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm okay. emceeing and uh, the uh, announcing the you know wrestlers. Are you ready? That that type of thing. yeah. That kind <laughs> of to rev, wrestle. Yeah, rev, rev up the engine. I guess. So man. it ought to be real interesting what goes on between the matches on the emceeing part. Bar Brand, you can't punch a wrestler. You she can't. might. No, she's like gonna jab she someone pro- in the head. I've once trained to wrestle. She, she might drop kick him. No, you're not gonna wrestle. You're so gonna street. Was fight he one doing of them. that just for show, or did, was he really mad? No, at you? he no, was no, mad because no, I, I, I mispronounced his name. His name. <laughs> <laughs> but I stuck my uh, tongue well, who out. Who was at it? Him. Who was it? 
I say I don't remember. He scared the crap say, out of me. I was going to say, you got to mispronounce his <laughs> yeah. name. If you yeah. say. He, said like, he said like Big Tex. What was it? Big something. I don't know. But if he's Big wrestling bad, this time, I'm letting Barbara Ann get in the ring by herself. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fantastic. You can get tickets, I'm sure. Uh, we'll, we'll be. It's July 27th. So there's a little bit of time. But mark that down. Put it on your calendar. And the proceeds will go to the Marine Denton Marine Corps League. There, there's a good reason to go. It's a lot of fun. It and, is. And if you're lucky, like I was, you'll get to see uh, Mark, Roy, Mark Roy thrown at someone. Oh, that was Oh, hilarious. that was great. They yeah. threw him out of the ring on top of <laughs> yeah, the other they wrestlers. Just, they, it was a it was nuclear great. strike inbound, and they just threw him at someone. <laughs> yeah, it was like Amazing. a torpedo throw. Beautiful. It was awesome. And this is a 40-something-year-old man. Oh, that he's, like not, he's, he's a Marine. He's a Marine. He's, yeah. yeah, he's in shape. They just picked him up and threw him out of the ring. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> but uh, July 27th, mark that down. I believe the doors open at 6.30, I'm, I'm guessing right now, but there's a meet and greet for one hour, and then the matches will take place. And I promise you, you can ask anybody that's come to the, came to the last show. It was fantastic. My grandbabies did, and they're coming back. Yeah, you missed, you missed a lot. They you missed a, a lot. And Justin, you have to show up for that if, if you're available for the July 27th. and or uh, August 10th. Uh, yeah, I was just looking on my calendar. <laughs> there you go. And so the the thing about it is, is that uh, just keep that down. It's going to be at the same location that the last uh, uh, match was. And we'll, we'll bring more to you as we go down the road because we've got a little bit of time. And uh, we appreciate you joining us today. Now, let's go back to Justin Kemp. Now, let's start off. Number one is, Justin, um, how, how'd you get into music? I mean, that's always a question that people ask me about things. So how, how did that come about for you? Of course, it's like uh, every other rock star dream, uh, girls. <laughs> women? <laughs> so women. You well, were back then it was girls. So your favorite uh, song girls, was Money girls, for Nothing girls, and Chicks girls. for Free. That is exactly right. <laughs> Say my one, too. Exactly right. I played that shot. I was blue in the face. <laughs> or Motley Crue's Girls, Girls, Girls. And, and I, that's what I grew up on yeah. is, uh, you know, Def Leppard, Motley Crue. Iron Maiden. Yeah. Were you all into that hard rock? Well, my brother was into Iron Maiden. About, I wasn't so much. I did like a couple of their songs, but they weren't really. What about Crocus? No. no. Really? Oh, screaming in the I'm night. I'm feeling like Love I'm about it. to Crocus right now. So, 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 <laughs> so when did you transition from doing music for for women to doing it because you love it? Um, He's still doing it for women, but that's beside <laughs> the point. <laughs> that's right. I can say that. Um, <laughs> He's divorced, ladies. I, I would say probably around 17. Uh, I got into music when I was around 13 and um, got in an accident and had to stay out of school for a year. My sister, I moved in with her and um, her ex-boyfriend left her a guitar behind. He moved to Boston and I picked up the guitar because I had the rest of the year off. <laughs> had a lot of time on your hands. I did. I did. And that's whenever I became a songwriter. Actually, oh, That's great. That's great. And 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 we're going to play uh, some of your songs. And I, I hope you all will tune in to this. We're, it's a little bit different show today than we normally have. But this is summertime. This is time we're out on the beach or we're out in the boat or we're around the pool, around the water. And you want to listen to music. And, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this today is because I want you to know about Justin Kemp's music because it's it's what you're gonna want to play when you're on the boat or out by the Actually, beach or, or the, a pool. I like to I like to t I say some some of the songs are definitely good for that, but I think some of the songs are are too meaningful and, and have too much purpose to be a lounging song. So it's when you want to cry and drive in your pickup truck because you lost your wife and dog, turn Jason Kemp wife on. Wife and dog? It sounds like a terrible accident. <laughs> no, that's a country song. Uh, <laughs> that's what happens when you play one back. Every country song. Every country song. I lost my dog and well, wife. Well, and now let me, let me clear up what I feel like your style of music is. It's Americana. And yes. so it is, it is really, and you're going to be the judge of what it is. And uh, you can see that right behind me is Justin Kemp's logo. Standing for just kidding. And <laughs> and so poor joke, JK. And, and you can also <laughs> go to Facebook and search him on Facebook and and uh, send him a friend request and make sure it's the one from Dallas, Texas. Yeah, he's got he's got that logo. When you search his page, yes. that logo will be on his uh, on on his uh, uh, site. So when you see that, send him a friend request. 
And we're going to play, let's play uh, Drive On. That's the first song. Before you do, tell us a little bit about that song and how that came about. about driving on. Now, now, first of all, this song and Caught Up, you're going to be wanting to drive in your car, but watch out for your speed because they are, they're, they're great to drive They to. will get you where your pedal gets a little stronger. <laughs> your foot gets a little pat, you patting, and the next thing you know, your, your speedometer is going. Over. Pedal to the And That's let right. me tell you, uh, let's listen to this song. It's called Drive On, written and performed by Justin Kemp. Looking in the rearview mirror where our lives used to be. As a drive to the night. None of these rolling wheels are lives and destiny. And a drive through the night. So alive, I got heaven and my Listen to 99.5. Well, I have my dancing boots on right now in my head, guys. Yes, sir. We're rocking you here on this Sunday afternoon, on this beautiful Sunday afternoon now in you're North going, Texas. Now you're going 100 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah. I was so on the dance down. floor. I really was. <laughs> Man, that. You can do some good dancing. Okay, like first of all, that is some fantastic is music. music. They're loving it on Facebook. I have already, he already knows this, but I'm making this a public announcement that I have put my application in to be his official bass player. Oh my God. So <laughs> did you so, lose a bass player? No. No, no. I, I'm he, just he putting my application one. in. In fact, I'm gonna put a hit on his other one. <laughs> Bo, don't say that on the radio. Oh, I guess if it happens, we're, happens, we're, we're in trouble. That is <laughs> That'd be the first person they knock on the door to. With it. My phone's going to blow up. How much is he paying? No, if, <laughs> I think if any b- bass player dies of unnatural causes in the Texas area, I think they're going to be knocking on my father's door. To see I'm going to blame it on surf. the Clintons. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. My father blames everything on the Clintons, doesn't he? No. So that is such a fantastic song. I, and I hope you guys are tuned into this. Uh, it, again, this is more of a lighthearted show than we normally do on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, but uh, I just had to have Justin Kemp here from Dallas, Texas, uh, because the talent is just phenomenal. The music is fantastic. 
And uh, we're going to play another song. And this next song that we're going to play, uh, Caught Up, right? Caught Up, is that the title? Yeah. Right. Uh, now, I would, number one, okay, before we do this, look at, look at Around the Room during last song or during this song. You have someone who loves listening to music for its enjoyment. That's Barbara Ann over there. I love someone to dance. Who's dancing. Someone who's trying to understand the music, which is my father. Okay. He's, he's just sitting there. He's like calculating the next algorithm. <laughs> okay. And then once he gets into it, he starts trying to play the music without even knowing what it is. And then obviously the person who wrote the music, who really just is just in the along. vibe, just yeah. tapping along, <laughs> singing along. And there's, and there's me monitoring uh, <laughs> the appropriate activity that Barbara Ann will be taking place. You know, I gotta, I gotta watch over her because she, she can get crazy sometimes. I was going to get up and I was going to, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I had to tell myself, it's, I had to, yeah. Uh, don't do that, please. So do you not <laughs> mic around whenever you're on air? I'm sorry? No. <laughs> you're saying you kick them around all the time. No. <laughs> I mean, we, so when my father used to perform, we, we would go out and she would, she would, dance with everyone in there she would have a blast and that just That's carries true. into her personal yeah, I get the life people I on the dance floor that is yeah. awesome i and need then, you at every show i yeah. do there's not that's another reason there. to hire me and then the people <laughs> that's right, that's right. i bring the dancers <laughs> and if they can't dance i tell them i'm teaching you the <laughs> bow wrecking crew and the, they that's would it. pay me to like dance. that was weird they paid me to people dance people even with them. paid graham yeah. when i took him when he was little they paid graham to dance with him on the dance so floor. Such we had a blast same dancer and i was also really cute and my daughter can and he can make money that's awesome so, I know go. we pimped him out. So this next song, caught up uh, another uh, song written by Justin Camp, uh, and he uh, this is uh, this is there's a video that goes with this, and the video is fantastic. You'll have Thank to go you. to YouTube and 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 then search uh, Justin Camp and look for the song "Caught Up." The video "Caught Up" and check that out because I was blown away not only by the song but the video is fantastic and do you want to make a comment before we play it Justin about this song um it took a long time to make the video uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure that it's fantastic facebook um, wants me to get up and dance y'all so. no, I'm, yes. I'm there's no room eyes. where i would she She'll will. Get on the table. You'll have you know, to come. Brand. I tell you what, on July the twenty seventh at the uh, oh, Pride and Joy Professional Wrestling, I'll get her to dance on the uh, on the in the ring. I'm too awake for this. I wish I didn't get the coffee. Graham, I'm not going to be dancing <laughs> on a pole, and I'm not going to be doing a strip dance. You don't need to be. You're well, gonna. We're not too we're sure not about there. that. We're not going there. We're, <laughs> we're, let's go back. This. Let's go back to the caught up. Bring song. your blindfolds. Uh, anytime Carver, goes that's awful. So, <laughs> Justin, mean. back to you right. and the song the video is fantastic so it took a little while to do i understand that but most videos do mm -hmm. but this is a class a video now, don't do it right now because you're on the air with us but after the show go check it out and so tell us a little bit about the caught up song well the caught up song uh was written a while back uh it was written right around the same time as another song of mine baby they have the exact same chords but sound totally different well that can happen and uh they're they're great songs it's about um uh they are great songs you yeah. know i mean when you when you we're going to go ahead and play it right now this is called caught up by justin camp from dallas texas your eyes and you're coming down on me and I can't live a lie when it swallows me and you see that I'm alive when I feel it so completely on our face tonight but you keep holding me I'm caught up in the feeling Touch. And it stumbles me and I live for the rush of you coming over me and you see that I'm alive when I feel it so complete when I miss the night but you keep holding me I Just about to break 
I love this. And movie. that's Justin Kemp from Dallas. And Facebook Dallas, is Texas. going insane. They love it. Well, yes. That that is a that is a very 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 good. I like song. it. You brought I, me a CD, right, Justin? I did. Good. I brought everybody. A CD. I would. I would hey. say. For, I would say. I, <laughs> we all live in the same house, so we'll be but fighting say, over the uh, song. Uh, it's going in my truck. I, I'd say I prefer this one over Overdrive on simply because of the the way it paces itself. It, oh, yeah. it, it just kind of. Can you describe a song as rolling off the tongue? Does that would that make sense? It just sounds na- a, 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 very that. natural. Yeah, I love that. That's very cool, Carver. You that need to be a cool. what do you call it? A, 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 a someone who clowns on everyone else's music because <laughs> yeah, he's pretentious. Exactly. And thinks, well, yeah, you got that first part I right. Be, I can be that one. <laughs> but but really, I think I think caught up is the song you speed up to. Drive on is right before you collide, and then there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> there she goes, is wishing the everyone goodbye. I should have named the uh, EP Car Crash or Rex. Yeah, something like that. Because <laughs> uh, there she goes is like a send off. And anyways, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, He's, now enjoy it. you can find more about Justin Camp on www.justincampsongs.com. That's J U S T I N Camp. K E M P dot com. That's Justin Kemp Songs dot com. And go over there and check that out and get a lot of data where he's playing. I'm sure you, you have that on there, right? Like yes, I do. Wh- where you have your locations at the times Every- and uh, all the gigs, right? Yeah, everything is on it. That there it is. Yeah, Justin Kemp Songs dot com. Thank okay. you. We very going much. to hear him next week. And are you yes, yes, we will. So now tell us about what you're supposed to say with that uh where you're going to be on that special thing in July 4th. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Can you do that? Yeah. Let me, uh, can you go there real quick? So go there and find out the places he's playing. And then you can also, you have your, some of your tunes on your website, right? I do. I have have all of them. Now can they buy a CD off of that website? You sure can. Okay. Well, there you go. So do that. Go to justincampsalms.com. And purchase a CD, and oh, then great. you too can get a ticket on your way down right. the highway. Let him tell you about the festival. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yes, it is uh, the festival in East Texas coming up July Fourth weekend. Um, Live Acts Productions is putting together this very cool music festival with thirty bands. The wow. East Texas Country Music Festival in Grape Land, Texas, south of Palestine. And um, what, what's the town again? One more time. Grape Land. Grape Texas. Land, not great. <laughs> Not, not Graceland, Graceland. Graceland. And not Grapevine. Grape land. How weird. Grape land. Okay. It's just south of Palestine, Texas. I'm playing Thursday, July 4th. Ooh. And this is a three-day festival. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, it's going to be for all ages. Uh, they'll have stuff for kids. There's a little pond out there. Bring your pickup, cool. your dog, your camping now, gear. What, yes, ma'am. Uh, what, you know what time you're playing on July 4th? Uh, I believe it's 5.30 is what the contract okay. says. I thought, you're about to, I thought you were about to just say yes. <laughs> so it, be playing yes. All day. <laughs> it's in East Texas at Grape Land, Texas, which is just south of Palestine. So look it up if you want to go have a good time, a whole weekend of, of fun and music and entertainment. And our guest is going to be there on that Thursday, July 4th. And uh, we may have to make a trip. And, and grapes are not promised. <laughs> well, no, but I'm sure I'm there'll sure, be wine. I'm sure the ones that have been stomped on and then put I'm in sure a bottle yeah. will right. probably be there. And so, uh, Justin, it's such an honor to have you on the show today. I, I, I just always am, am, am taken back by real high quality talent, and you're one of them. And and I want to mention this right now. And it's kind of like our pride and glory professional wrestling. The the wrestlers that wrestle during that show, but let me let me just explain it. I, in the course of my lifetime, uh, there I've seen a lot of you know different talent in a lot of different ways and a lot of different things. And because someone is not a superstar, that doesn't mean they don't have a talent. Because a lot of times I've seen talent more talented than the ones that made it big. And they either got to, lucky. And also the superstars. Some, I mean, that's not maybe true for wrestling, but with, a lot with music, superstars can be the people who are more trendy. Well, and it, it has nothing the, to do with with talent. Talent goes everywhere. Well, talent the, disperses. What what I'm going to say is the fact that 
because they are not in the WWE or they're not being played on national radio or you don't see their face in major concerts does not mean the talent is not there. Because trust me, those wrestles that will be there on, on the Pride and Glory on July 27th, they're as good as you'll ever see. I promise right. you that. And it's the same way with our guest here in the house. The only thing that separates him from being a big major star on the major stage is just that one little break and that one little extra added thing that they got that you haven't gotten yet. I appreciate it, Bo. You're hired. Well, there you go. <laughs> See, it doesn't take a lot, does it? <laughs> so done talking up with you. Let's talk about your flaws. No, no. In all honesty, uh, the difference between a superstar uh, and someone with just a lot of talent uh, you know, but assuming that the super superstar has talent, yeah, that's how much, a good question how much too. people listen to the song and how much money they have in their pocket. That's it. There's, there's no, there's no difference in terms of the person or their music quality. You can have, I've seen people who would, their music would touch your heart in ways that, uh, no superstar oh, can. Like Clint Moody. Yeah. Clint Moody is another one. It, 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 fame, I think, once you get to a certain point in music, fame isn't what matters to you. It's it it's the music. Well, and that, and I think that that's the passion you have to have, and you have to let God's journey take you where it takes you. And sometimes you can leave a more lasting effect sometimes than some of the major, you know, superstars. And I, I, I just have to say this: that your talent is absolutely second to none. The music is fantastic. Your writing is on top of the you world. Can feel his your in your it, emotion yes. and your Appreciate singing. Uh, you I know, love it. love it. So does Facebook. It, my, it's, my favorite, it's just fantastic. Favorite thing about the music is how smooth it feels. It feels like it's feels like it's just meant to to work out that way. Like it, I, I think you said you said this one took a while to write, right? Like you said, it, it took a while Caught to up. come up. The video was, the video to, took a long time. Caught up actually that. It didn't take an extra long time, but it wasn't short. Drive on was like that. Well, that can happen. So, so yeah, I, think, can. I think the speed, the speed of uh, of writing. So when you write a song and you don't overthink it, I think it can come out naturally. That's yes. what happens. And yep. instead of because there's a lot of process processing that goes on with writing a song for, you know, there's artists come out with these songs they've been writing for five years i tell you what yeah caught up is one of those songs it had been marinating and marinating and you know i've been playing it live yeah. and going back and, I, and rewriting and it barbara ann wants me to write her song and it's still marinating and yeah <laughs> there, <laughs> there's, 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 yeah there's a difference there's, i get that there's a difference it's between way writing, marinating. there's a difference between marinating <laughs> And not existent. <laughs> I actually wanted a love song, but he wants to write a hate song. So no, it's no, not. He's going to write. Get this purple a, out my house. Just, that's that's going to be the lyric. It's, it's going to be scary. It, I don't you want know, to. Uh, let's get off that subject. Okay. No, okay. No, in all honesty, <laughs> like, yeah, well, I can still in breathe. All honesty, the, <laughs> It's a sore subject. I've been waiting for I, 10 no, years. I, I, I'd, I'd it's like marinating. Believe, I like <laughs> that. I'm using that from now on. No, I'd like to believe. That song about Barbara <laughs> and Your mom hair. has a song. I know. I'd like to believe at the end of the day. That the reason he can't write you a song is because he, he still can't, loves me. Because he can't put the way he loves you into words. There's no anger Thank you, yet. Grandma. You you're, you're, that's a bonus coming Shut your up. way. Shut up. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. Y'all. So <laughs> now we're going to marinate. We're going to get to another song right here, and this song is very, very, <laughs> very, very good, and it is called uh, "There, there she, she Goes," goes. and uh, written by uh, Justin Kemp. From Dallas, Texas, JustinKempSongs.com. Uh, you want to say a little word before we play it? It's about yeah. The funny thing about this song is I was uh, – it was, it was right before everything, the fit hit the shan. <laughs> in your, in your <laughs> in, uh, personal in my, life? Yes. Okay. And uh, I was trying to uh, figure See, out – even his ex-wife has a song. I, I was trying to figure out <laughs> – uh, she's gone by their Holland. Jones. Right, right, exactly. That's a good song. And I came up with this, and I'm like, okay, well, there she goes is just naturally what was on you. my mind, right. you know. So that's how that came to be. Uh, yeah. It's well, a we're great gonna song. we're going to guess say th there she goes. Okay, can, I, can I test my commentator voice <laughs> and stay gone? Right? Did you, yes. Did you tag that like that? And stay gone, stay gone. <laughs> you yeah, can, we can. You can write a, the parentheses. You can write a new song called "Stay Gone." <laughs> there she goes. Is a monologue of Justin Kemp, written specifically <laughs> for the purpose 
of leaving. And here we are. Would you like me to play? Yes, go ahead. (laughs) It's sad, so cry. I love this song too, buddy. Thank you. There she goes. Oh, walking away again. That's sad. She knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. I can't stand it. When she shows her whole world to me, she knows, she knows, she knows, she knows, she knows. I am free. There she goes That's by Justin Kemp. Fantastic! Right if you're there. crying, I don't Thank blame you. you. Facebook loved it. No, okay, <laughs> so fire. so okay, I'm gonna have to take back. This is not my favorite song because uh, there's <laughs> there's th- no there's so much there's so much emotion. There's all it's there's a purpose to it. it there's there's something that I, I mean I think I'm too young to grasp the the intensity a of a long term yeah. relationship. Uh, but th- there's a lot of a strength in the song but at the same time there's a lot of weakness showing and, and that's something I, that's hard to men usually don't show weakness yeah and it's it's it feels fresh it's a song that's been done a thousand times but still feels fresh coming from you know such a deep place hey, i have a question how come country women always sing with anger and country men always sing with a broken heart <laughs> <laughs> i just realized that there's something to that i guess so well, I think I think because in don't all, think too much, Carter. No, no in all seriousness, <laughs> it's I, no, just a this, question. No, I'm not not answering. I'm not answering that. It's there's there's a lot to process with that song, um, but the biggest thing is, are you are you? I'm guessing since you have such a deep and raspy voice, you can't hit a lot of high notes, right? High notes get very no, difficult. He can. Time no, goes I can't. No, he can't. Okay, so yeah. your voice. I don't know if it's maybe the emotion. I was thinking the notes, you know, just the note being too high. But when you get there and you can hear the strain on your voice, it adds like some humanity to the song. It doesn't sound it's like called process. passion and it's called energy and it's called into the song. It, it, and it's fantastic. You know, like you've uh, been into the whole show, Graham. You really have been. You know, yeah, a little bit, a little, a little bit at that last song. Now, everybody pretty much that knows me and watches and sees our and listens to our show on a regular basis, they know I'm originally from Beaumont, Texas, which is a rock throw from Louisiana. And in that area around Lake Charles and Beaumont and all that, there's music out there called swamp pop. 
And that song has a little bit of a touch to that. Do you do you agree with me on that? I do. I do. I, and I, I love some of that in my soul. And I love Swamp Pop. I mean, and and that really just that sound of that song right there just just kind of it's makes you Asian blood. It's it just swells up with pride and 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 feel, feels good for the music wise, even though the song so, you know is, is not a happy song so, per se, but it has that feel of a kind of a swamp pop and i love that kind of music so, so lyrically it's awesome lyric it sounds like it's sorry for analyzing your song too much. no no please it, do. It, lyrically it sounds uh, you know a, a point of defeat you know the power that someone can hold over i you. was very defeated yeah, yeah the power that you know that she was aware she held over you uh but at the same time, it, the the vocals sound empowering and like taking back something. And the music. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. there there's a sense of like you're gonna get the grip sooner yeah, or later. Yeah, sooner you know or, what and, I mean? Yeah, and then it's very insightful. Yeah. And then the music itself uh, sounds kind of giddy. Like it sounds happy and it, go that's lucky. The swamp. Pop yeah, part. and it's it's weird because it's all these things, and I think that's how I would describe. And that's what something. makes it something original. And Justin Kemp is an Americana original. And what you want to do is go to his website at www.justinkempsongs, J-U-S-T-I-N-K-E-M-P, songs.com, and get all the data about him, order a CD, enjoy some of this fantastic music, and look up where he's playing and performing and go out and see him because I promise you I will. And you might see me on stage with him one day. You never know. <laughs> so, you heard it here first on the Bo Carver show with I, the Wheels don't, of Jeff. Don't pressure yourself. My father has taken a lot of losses in his life. Yeah, it's okay if how are we all? Yeah, you know, yeah. But, well. but but there he goes. Yeah. No, my, my, my final words on that song is is the music sounds like you're redeeming yourself and you feel redeemed. The lyrics like he's letting go, yeah. The lyrics sound like you're you're caught up in the moment and you feel very defeated. And then the sound of your voice and the passion and the heart put into it sounds like you're trying to redeem yourself. So it, it all comes together to really encompass what uh, a, a breakup or divorce is, is like. You know, just all those emotions flowing. And all that comes from a 15-year-old. Not yet, 14. Well, just like a breakup and divorce, know, we got to get amazing. ready to go. Well, okay, so I've... The thing is, is there there is a bit of there is a bit of falsity to that because I've never gone through any of this, but that's what I see. But at you least got feelings in like everybody yeah. else. Yeah, but Aww, it, he's got feelings. I do feel. <laughs> no. We're about to run out of time <laughs> with his Carver, feelings go. no, no, before he starts <laughs> just, just, crying. Just when it all comes together, it encompasses a relationship with someone that is very hard to put into musical terms, and I think that's why all these country and uh, even rap or whatever it may be, they always sound so drowned out. Because they don't have the heart or See, the oomph. Post Malone's got that defeated voice. <laughs> you love that man, I don't you? I love Post Malone. I do. I got uh, to listen to him. So uh, another sure. thing I want to mention before we uh, uh, leave today is that one. There's a video on uh, YouTube that uh, Justin Kemp wrote this song, and it's called "So Mean." And you need to check that out, okay? And it, it's about a young lady that she's doing one of those things where she shows the cards of what happened to her in her life. Kind of like the NXS video. Right. Remember that one? Exactly. So that's what's happening as a young lady in the video is just showing you, re, you read the cards that she wrote. And he wrote that song, So Mean. You need to check that out because it's very, very, very powerful. And it, it might you might want to share that with somebody that you know might be going through some things because it will lift them up, I promise you, for what that young lady went through and where she ended up yeah. coming out at the end of those comments. It's fantastic, and the song is fantastic. And, Justin, I want to say we're going to have you back at some point in time because I really enjoyed having you on the show and uh, we will definitely uh, stay connected and do a lot more can things I, can, together. Can I say my final sentence? Well, I'll get some new material so we can talk about that. Okay. Well, next time, we'll, next time you come, we'll have you pull out your acoustic and do something acoustic. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, final final words from me so I don't over overzealous myself. <laughs> uh, you really need to just listen to the song and take a second to understand its power. And then what's your middle name, man? T. Justin a. Thomas Aaron Justin TNA Kim. Justin <laughs> Thomas Aaron, Thomas Aaron Thomas Aaron Justin Thomas Aaron Kemp 
does not condone speeding. Please do not speed while <laughs> listening to any of his wonderful, wonderful music. Thank you, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, and I know I one you. thing. The judges, I know, will be happy to know that you are not condoning speeding. I'm not. And we appreciate you tuning in today here on the Wheels of Justice. Make sure you hug a veteran, y'all. Yes, do what Marianne Please says. Do. I can't say that because when I do, I get in trouble by her. My word. But do what she said to do. And enjoy your summer. Be safe out there. Uh, we've got a lot of summer rolling in. Don't get burnt. Take care of yourself. Take care of your children out there. Watch after them real close. And your monkey. And Justin Kemp, thank you for being here today. What a very, very, very talented young man. Look forward to great things with you and for you. We'll have you back at some point in time. Everybody have a safe weekend, and we'll see you Thursday night at 8 p.m on the rant array love y'all have a great weekend i know you guys can end the live stream i believe in you my father